sir, the counts, uh, the chairman of the GOM had conducted the meetings and came up with a final report even on the 6th. He came and submitted the report to us. Post that, the GST Secretariat, Finance Ministry had gone through the recommendations given. Today, the recommendations which have been given within eight days, less than eight days of the submission of the GOM's report. Sixth, it was submitted. Today, we've held the meeting. And uh, the recommendation of the GST GOM on this issue uh, of goods which are being used for the COVID-19 treatment was placed for the GST Council to discuss. I'll uh, just highlight what the decisions have been. Uh, the GOM's recommendations have been accepted. Just three uh, items on which the rates were further considered. And on the period up to which this will be valid has also been slightly altered. The period up to August was the recommendation. After discussion in the Council, that has been extended to September. So this will be valid till September 30th. And based on the advice and also from the states the input, whether that period has to be further extended will be taken as a call nearer the time. And the GIC will probably will take the responsibility of eliciting the opinions, taking the political leadership's inputs, and meeting to take a final word on whether that extension should be furthered after September. The second is three items which the GOM had recommended at one level after discussion in the committee, uh, in the GST Council, we have brought in changes. They are particularly one item which is the furnaces, the electric furnaces which are used in the crematoriums. Uh, the GOM had recommended 12%. We, after the discussion in the Council, have brought it down further to 5%. Then temperature checking equipments, the GOM recommended 18%. After discussion in the Council today, we are bringing it down to 5%. And the third item, which is the ambulances, uh, the GOM had uh, recommended at 28 because it has a different connotation uh, to the automobile sector. But even then, for, because it's for a limited period and because it's a very uh, enduring asset for the hospitals, even with depreciating value, nevertheless, we thought even ambulances should be brought down. So the GOM's recommendation of 28 for the ambulance has been brought down to 12 percent. Then uh, it was felt that the GOM's recommendations has brought in a lot of substantial change. Many items were at 18, they have been brought down to 5. Many items which were at 12 have been brought down to uh, 5 again. And therefore, there was a lot of... Uh, uh, substance in the recommendation made by the GOM and as a result I think the council largely agreed to go with the GOM's recommendation subject of course to these three uh, uh, slight tweaking which uh, has happened. Uh, largely that's about today's uh, GST council's uh, uh, decision. I'm sure by the questions that are being asked but that will be asked now we'll be able to explain further if you have anything to ask us. Largely, the list of items, I would, for your benefit, it will also be given as uh, emails or whatever, but the list of items uh, are broadly categorized under medicines, which had five items in it. Oxygen, oxygen generation, equipments, and related medical devices had six items in it. Testing kits and ma machines related to testing kits had two items under it. And other COVID-related relief materials like pulse oximeters, uh, hand si uh, sanitizers, and so on, had five items in it. So you see that there are four categories. Medicines, 
oxygen, oxygen generation equipments, testing kits and other machines. Fourth, other COVID-related relief material. So the taxes on these were considered and uh, GUM suggested altering the rates. In none of them has the GOM recommended for an increase in the rates, existing rates, or further bring them down. Just as a matter of technicality, many of the Fitment Committee's earlier recommendations before forming the GOM have also been studied by the GOM, and therefore uh, the viewpoint of the GOM was also put to a thorough discussion in the GOM. I'm not reading each one of them, but that will be distributed, so you will be getting a copy of all the items which have been discussed by the GOM, which come under the four categories. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. We'll now take some questions. Please identify yourself and then ask the question. Number 18. Tim C. Japoria from CNBC TV 18. Ma'am, from when will these uh, reduced rates be applicable? And uh, how much of a relief do you think will be extended to the people? Because uh, since it is the people who, are, who, will be, who will be kept in mind by keeping these recommendations uh, of reduced rates, how much of a benefit do you think will be extended to the people? Because uh, apart from the medicines, uh, the other things, uh, how soon will these start trickling down? Will there be a mechanism to also to check because already stock is available in the pharmacies uh, with the chemists? How can uh, that stock be replaced with the new reduced rates? What exactly is your question? I'm sorry. Ma'am, when will these reduced rates be applicable from? Fine. Notification should be issued maybe to by tomorrow day after. So it will be immediately. You can take it. They are being done almost immediately. No, I didn't get your question. So on that, the GST has already been paid, but whatever they now, the GST rate will be there. That will be a reduced rate. Number 50. Five zero. कुछ ट्रेड एसोसिएशनों ने डिमांड करी थी कि जो व्यापारियों की हालत है लॉकडाउन के दौरान काफी खराब हुई है उन्होंने मांग की थी कुछ जीएसटी में हमें राहत दी जाए तो इस पर कुछ आपका क्या कहना है आज का एजेंडा में वो नहीं था विषय आज का एजेंडा वो जीओएम के विषय के ऊपर ही था 